Unraveling phrasal verbs. A deep dive into come over. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to embark on an exciting journey to understand a commonly used phrasal verb in the English language. Yes, you guessed it right. We're focusing on come over today. By the end of this video, you'll have a firm grip on how, when, and where to use this handy phrasal verb. Let's get started. First things first, what does come over mean? The phrasal verb come over is used in several ways, but the two most common meanings are to visit someone at their place and a sudden feeling or state overcoming someone. It's this versatility of use that makes come over an important phrasal verb to master. Now that we know what come over means, let's put it in context. Remember, understanding how a word or phrase is used in a sentence is key to fully grasping its meaning. 1. Visiting someone. 2. Example. Why don't you come over to my place for dinner tonight? 3. A sudden feeling or state. 4. Example. A feeling of sadness came over me when I heard the news. Understanding the context is key to differentiating between the two meanings. It's time for some practice. We've understood what come over means and seen it in action. Now, it's your turn. Try making sentences using come over in both contexts we've learned today. This exercise will help reinforce your understanding. While come over is quite straightforward, a common mistake learners make is confusing it with other phrasal verbs. Remember, come over is used to refer to a visit or a sudden feeling, not for moving from one side to another. For example, it's incorrect to say, I came over the bridge. Instead, you should say, I crossed the bridge. Be mindful of these nuances to ensure correct usage. That's a wrap on our deep dive into the phrasal verb, come over. Now that you're equipped with this knowledge, it's time to put it to use. Remember, the more you practice, the more natural it will become. Keep practicing and keep learning. See you in our next session where we will continue exploring the fascinating world of phrasal verbs.